This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today we're in Chesterfield County. More specifically, we're at 11643 Nevis Drive. This is in the St. James subdivision, and today we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. This home coming in at 1954 as far as the square footage, and you have a treat ahead of you. This one shows like a charm. One of the most common questions I get in real estate is, Max, is it a good time to buy? And this time of year, particularly, I answer in the following way. Uh, you want to, whether it's real estate or anything else that you're considering purchase, want to do things that other people are not doing. When other people are doing it, that creates competition. And right now, our competition has been reduced because we are moving into the fall and winter months. Uh, we've had unprecedented demand for real estate here recently. Uh, one of the reasons is because our interest rates have dropped below 3%. And uh, that truly means that everything is on sale. One of the examples that I also give is that on the 15th of February, chocolate, flowers, and cute little teddy bears always seem to go on sale. Now, while I would not recommend uh, that sound fiscal move to you because I do value your health and safety, I think you probably get my point that you want to do things that other people are not doing. Okay, we have a side entry garage, a storage building there. As you can see, my owner has taken immaculate care of this lawn and it really shows. Uh, I have been speaking with uh, him and his wife here for several weeks and they've been working hard getting this home show ready. Uh, you remember the last video I brought you, uh, the town home was also an amazing property uh, that just showed beautifully. I've been real fortunate. My sellers are taking, uh, getting their properties in show ready condition very seriously. Okay, let's go on in and take a look. We've got that low maintenance exterior. Uh, this home has been upgraded in many areas. And as we come in, here to the left is our formal dining room. Notice we've got the beautiful wood floors. Uh, straight back is going to be our dining area and our powder room. Of course, our stairs going up and to the right is going to be our beautiful family room. We're going to start here in the family room, which features a gas log fireplace. Notice that nice, large television they have over the fireplace. I know that would be an amazing feature for my sports fans that are out there here to the right is going to be our screened porch. Now this is really nice. I want you guys to see this because they went over the top here. We've got nice privacy here on the right side. Not only is it screened, but we've got indoor outdoor carpet here. It doesn't even feel like a deck. It feels like an extinction of the actual finished space. Uh, we have our door that takes us out the side. I want to give you a shot here so you can see uh, what our backyard actually looks like. I'm going to give you a shot from right here. Uh, of course, it's got that nice big storage building, uh, manicured backyard. Uh, it's really nice to be on a third of an acre. Uh, you have that uh, great space to uh, be able to do some of the things that you like to do in the backyard. He even put a refrigerator back here. So you have a really nice space here. Uh, with that ceiling fan to help move some air if necessary all right let's go on back through see what we have here to our right notice our wood floors pick up again here in our informal dining space got a nice big window there to the right to let some additional natural light in i'm going to take you here uh, down this hallway so you can see our powder room just beautifully decorated notice the nice earth tone colors here to my right is going to be a coat closet great storage there and our renovated kitchen uh, notice the nice little detail they put the cabinet there to utilize what would have been dead space uh, beautifully finished white cabinets uh, our appliances are stainless and look fabulous uh, gas cooking. This is a brand new LG refrigerator and they are going to actually leave it. It will convey 
to the next buyer. One of the things that I wanted to share here with you uh, when we walk through, uh, I asked my seller, I said, sir, what is the name of this species of granite? I always like to sound uh, intelligent when I speak here on video. And he said, it's called brown fantasy. And I kind of chuckled and he said, what, what? I said, it sounds more like a handle for a, a dating site on the internet than it does a granite species, but don't judge me. Here in our garage is going to be a pedestrian door. We do have an opener in here as well. A uh, little workshop space there in the middle of the frame. And he told me to make sure I specifically stated uh, that this motorcycle does not convey. This Samsung refrigerator actually would convey as well as a garage uh, freezer. Uh, we've got uh, some maintenance that's needed on that. So it does partially work, uh, but great additional freezer space there for you. Gas, water heater, and this is an upgrade actually in a lot of new homes. We have a sink, utility sink right there, uh, which is nice if you're uh, tinkering here in the garage. Uh, ladies, if you're swapping out a transmission and your hands are all greasy, you don't have to worry about bringing that grease inside the house. You can take care of it right there. Okay, we're gonna transition now through our dining room. We are wired for an alarm system. Got a really nice formal dining room with crown molding and chair rail. I know a lot of my viewers love to still have formal space in the home and you definitely have it here in this one. All right, let's go upstairs and see what our second level has in store for us. We've got those nice spindles here. I know a lot of people like that upgrade. It just is a much classier look than just the normal wooden ones. We're gonna start here at the end of the home. This is going to be our cave. It's currently set up as a cave. So I like to show spaces where the current owner is using it as uh, uh, many people would envision it. And you can see we've got a nice sports motif here. Uh, he's got the nice recliner set up. And of course, the flat screen there on the wall. I think that's Tyson. Ceiling fan moves around, some good air. Good natural light comes in, and there is a nice high knee wall in this room as well. Nice deep closet, highly organized as you can see. And we've got uh, even a space you can actually walk in there. So it's nice to have that closet space. Here to the left is going to be our laundry. All of the appliances do convey in this home. So you get everything that you see. Good storage there for the laundry here to the left is going to be bedroom number two. We've got uh, additional closet space here in this one as well. That closet actually is probably a good six feet long. I like this room, it's nice and bright. And directly across is gonna be bedroom number three. And I think this one might be a tad bigger I uh, believe that is probably a queen size bed. It's either a full or a queen and another walk-in closet. So it's unusual to have these secondary bedrooms with walk-in closets. So that's a big plus. All right, this is a pull-down attic and there's our door right there. Let's transition now to our hall bath. Nice big vanity here in this hall bath. Got plenty of storage space there in that vanity and our fiberglass tub shower. There is a linen closet that is right there. Good additional storage. Now let me take you into the master. Here it is to the right. Good space. This is definitely a king size bed. Got the TV mounted there. Great space for it. And uh, just plenty of space in here for uh, your furniture. We do have a walk-in closet in this master suite as well. Ceiling fan. And I love the color here. This is a really light blue in here. Just a really calming color. Nice storage space here. You've already got the shelving in place. Uh, you can put, of course, clothes, shoes, as you see. Uh, just really smart design. Okay, this, of course, is going to be our master bath plenty of vanity space once again 
And for my tub lovers, we're not going to disappoint you today. We've got a nice big oval shaped tub there that is plenty of space. No tiny tub where you have to struggle to uh, get comfortable. And an articulating shower head. This is great because you can actually move this into the precise position that you need for optimal cleansing. That is just a amazing feature. That alone probably adds about 10% to the price of this beautiful home. If you have any questions about this or any other home on the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help you. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Foreclosures or on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Be sure to comment like and subscribe if you would be so kind. Let me know what you think about this beauty. I really love it, and I think you do too. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.